know, life is an adventure, life's fun. I'm just one of those people that I see something, I just want to do it. I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for over 35 years. I'm really doing one-of-a-kind jewelry, and the majority of the time, the mine finds that you see on the show, it's the first time they've ever been shown. I think what really our edge is, exactly the story. That's what people love. They love the uniqueness of the materials that we find, but they love knowing that they're gonna have a piece of jewelry that they're not gonna see on everybody. because as a part of our Summer Style Vibes event, Jay King is joining me. Now, what's a vibe event? Well, we're talking about just getting the perfect summer style, whether it's gonna be fashion you'll see throughout the day or great jewelry. We love that Carol Brody was with us last hour. Jay's joining me this hour, and boy, oh boy, I am super pumped about this. I think one of the most unique stories that Jay has ever, ever, ever brought to us when it comes to turquoise is this necklace right here. It's the Hubei turquoise. Now, when Jay was here with his last visit, we had one Hubei piece on and literally sold thousands of them in one airing and it sold out. It was on with Adam, I'll never forget. It was literally on and then gone in almost an instant. And why is that? Hubei is antique turquoise. Jay literally found this and it's the coolest story within the depths in China in this basically mined out area and he'll explain the whole story later but that's why Hubei has become so wildly collectible it's because it is very rare it's very hard to come by because it's not been mined the last time it was mined was in the 80s that's how old this is so you're looking at genuine antique turquoise now I will tell you we have 400 available this is a great look it's so beautiful on it just surrounds your neckline I love the graduated design but again 400 left I do not believe it's going to last through our show Every Everybody jumps on the Hubei. Just give me a little warning. If you're brand new, Hubei is one of the most collectible because it's injury deed, one of the rarest turquoise out there because it's not mined any longer. And this is antique, which is really, really cool. All right, so we've got some other things to show you, including the necklace I have on. This is my birthstone. I'm a July baby. Hello, July babies out there. Okay, look at what Jay has done. Oh my goodness. This is the pendant that matches, but check this out. An entire graduated Ruby necklace. Rubies, my goodness, you know how expensive rubies are? I know, it's my birthstone. I've been collecting them for many years. This is sensational, all completely faceted. A beautiful necklace, you've got the extender on the back. Now, I'm gonna have a matching bracelet. I love the matching pendant. I have these delicious matching earrings to go back to it. And again, this is a brand new mine find. Now, what is that? If you're new, that is a brand new mine find. Like, it's never been on the air before. You probably have never heard of the place before, but it'll tell us that story in just a bit. We also have some customer picks, including this really cool bracelet that's gonna be coming up. But first and foremost, we're starting out with the ring I have on my finger. This is the Blue for Forest Stone Oval Ring. So. We're talking at a very large cabochon. It's a beautiful size, isn't that gorgeous? And I really, if we can, love to go in super tight on this, only because you've got to see this stone. Now, one thing you should always remember when you tune in or you see Jay King on the program schedule, or you're online looking at it or whatever, is always expect the wildly unexpected. And this is a great example of exactly what Jay does. He brings us the coolest stones that really are amazing to see because you never see them. Have you ever heard of a blue forest stone? A blue forest stone, like what is a blue forest stone? And again, he's gonna explain it when we get him in just a minute, but that's what makes this show so exciting because every time you tune in, it's like, what is that? And we have so many people like you and I who are so passionate. You love unique gemstones and this one is so beautifully executed. I love it because it's smooth. That's one really great point about this because if you're in a position where you're working with people or kids or you wear gloves or what have you, certainly in the winter time, it's smooth with no prongs to get caught on anything. Now this is on sale. It's the first time we've ever had it at this price. So you're looking at the lowest price we have ever offered. We have sizes five through 10 and it's from the Republic of Congo, which again, very unusual. Oh, I'm sorry, five through 12. You're right, five through 12.
12. Now we are $44 off the HSN price right now while it's still available. It's all sterling silver. That's what Jay works in is sterling silver. And what also is important to understand is that his, his rings have a real feel to them. And that sounds kind of silly, but these are all handcrafted. He has silversmiths and uh, uh, talented, talented artists on his staff, many who've worked years and years with him. And every single piece of this is handcrafted. He doesn't have the kind of machines where they're casting things or a machine that's blopping out stuff like a, like, you know, a little kiss factory. Um, these are all completely handcrafted, every little element of it. Now, what I love is notice it looks like you're wearing three rings, but it tapers down to a single ring on the back. It's very, very comfortable. Again, if you're on a computer all day long and you love wearing your jewelry, it doesn't get involved with, you know, trying to be on the computer or the mouse. Now, something else to note is please appreciate the colors of this stone. We are talking about this brown, blue and black forest stone. And then you have that tapered band with the tri-split shoulders. Obviously it's completely polished. To me, you know what it looks like? Have you ever seen when the astronauts um, take a picture of Earth from obviously the space station or up in the sky and the Earth is really, really kind of blue and beautiful and it's gorgeous? That's kind of what it looks like. As the, you know, as a satellite would be passing over the Earth and they took a picture, it kind of reminds me of that when you see how incredible that coloration is. Now, what I do want to do is explain our FlexPay because you might be absolutely brand new to HSN and I want to welcome you. Thanks for joining us. But FlexPay is easy. In this case, you have three FlexPays. And what that is, is if you have a major credit card, we even except PayPal. I think that's funny because a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know that. And like even I was like, really, we accept PayPal? I'm like, cool, that's good. And you can use FlexPay on a major credit card or PayPal. Now you'll spread your payments out over three months, but you actually get the items right away. And that's lovely. It's not layaway. I had a girlfriend of mine ask me that one time. I'm like, I looked at her like she had three heads and I thought, well, Duh, you know, if you're not listening all the time or watching all the time, you wouldn't know that, right? So it's not. You get it right away, but you have three months to pay it off. All right, Jay is joining me, and he's joining me from his home in Vero Beach, Florida. Jay King, hi and welcome. Hey, how you doing? I love the turquoise top tonight. Yay. I'm, I'm not in Vero. Oh, where just are so you? you know. Where are you at? I'm in St. Petersburg. Oh, that's right. I forgot you're in St. Petersburg. That's right. Well, it's so good to see you. You look fabulous. All right, Jay, so I kind of gave him a warm up on this first ring, but tell us the story of how in the world you found this. It's the Republic of Congo. Yeah, it's, well, you know, it used to just be, it used to be the Belgian Congo, then it became the Republic of Congo. So, um, you know, that, that's what's fun and that's what Mind Finds is about. And this, you know, this is such a unique material. They call it blue forest, but um, I heard you before, and you know, that's the perfect des uh, description. If you, if you think about it, like what an astronaut, you know, when they have those uh, those pictures from outer space, yes, and they're looking down on on the Earth, <laughs> that's what it reminds you of, and that's all natural. It almost reminds me, you know, like when I first saw it, I thought it was some kind of form of azurite malachite, but but it's not. That's a natural story, and they call it. They named it, you know, Blue Forest. That's what they call it. I love that. Well, and you know what's funny, Jay? I explained it exactly like that. And by the way, it was not rehearsed. <laughs> we both, <laughs> we, we think way too much alike. That's very scary because that's exactly what I said too. It's like an astronaut looking down on Earth. Okay, we got to move on, Jay, because this is spectacular. Very, we knew you guys were going to go crazy over it. I now have less than 400 left. It will be a sellout. I promise you that. We're going to move on to the Hubei. And Jay, I gave him a little treat to the story behind it, but I didn't spoil the entire story. But this is is exciting. All right, here we go. We start off with very small Hubei stones in the back. You have a two and three quarter inch sterling silver extender right there. It goes to very, very large stones down here. And this is genuine antique turquoise. So Jay, before this is sold out, um, I'd love you to, if you can, tell the story because I think it's one of the best turquoise stories that you share with us. Well, you know, the, the thing with Hubei and everybody, I know that they've been seeing it. So I think that people hopefully are not thinking, well, right. you know, this is something that that he's going to just have forever and I'll I'll get it, you know, down the road. The, this is really what they call vintage. This is antique turquoise. But, it, you know, what's, what's really cool about this, that this was one of the first turquoises. This actually was the first turquoise commercially that ever came out of China. But it's really more of an American story than it is a China story. And... Yeah. It's 
um, if, it, if it wasn't for the, all the American miners from Arizona, uh, New Mexico, uh, Utah, and Nevada that actually developed this, they, they did, you know, they went in, they found the turquoise, and it was it was American miners, American lapidar, lapidarists that actually showed them how to mine it, were able to bring it out and actually develop the market for it. Now, this turquoise that you're looking at here. This was mined in the late 70s or early 80s, and that's why they call it antique or vintage. Right. Hubei turquoise of of the top five collectible turquoises that that you that are that are collectible. This is one of these. Do you know that I didn't have any of this material for almost 10 years? Right. Almost 10 years. Three years ago, we got this incredible inc incredible deal where we we bought one of the original miners. We were able to get. And, and he's like in his, in probably like his mid 80s. We were able to get his private collection, his private stash that nobody knew about it. Right. Um, right. You see the photo on here? Uh, the uh, little uh, Chinese man, uh, that's my fr good friend, Simon. That's when he's in, a, in his 30s, okay? He's not in his 30s anymore. <laughs> that's him at the minor. And that's two of the, those are two of the American miners that were with him. That's actually Hubei in the 70s is what that is right, right there. Right, the, right. These are pictures of today, what it looks like. If you go through that door, that door goes into the mine. But as Westerners, e even the uh, Chinese are not allowed to go into this area. They've got, it's all closed down. Um, there's probably still turquoise in this mine, but they just don't allow them to mine it. This is probably one of the, the most recognizable and probably one of the more collectible turquoise you ever see for me. Now, here's the thing. We, we did that special project three years ago. We did, we did a Today Special. Yep, I remember yeah. it. Remember you and I, we, yeah. we launched it. Yeah, yeah it sold That's out what, by two in the morning. <laughs> we sold that. I mean, you know, and it made us look really good, but the problem was then, Suzanne, they always want you to do that, right? Right, right. So, so but the, the thing is, is with the Hubei, it, it's not like they're making any more of it. What you're seeing here in this necklace is just the last remaining rough material that we had from that that collection well, that you, we were and you know that. what jay let's explain it this way because years ago you did rainbow calcilica right and you kept saying it's going to go it's going to it's going to go guys i don't have a source for any more of it and a lot of people did not certainly didn't believe you because you know they just didn't we haven't seen that in how many years uh, at least three or four, and guess what? The only rainbow calcilica that I'm aware of that I personally have is in my private collection, my specimens that are on the wall right. <laughs> in my well, man cave. Well, and I think That's that Hubei, what happened three years ago is you hadn't seen Hubei forever. They reached out to you and said, hey, by the way, we found some. It was literally in one of those little tunnels in these big barrels, right? And he said, yeah, I'll take it. And so that's how we got a hold of Hubei after many years of no one seeing it. And then again, so just like the rainbow, it's the same story. When these are gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. I mean, it could be, I mean, Jay, do you have any idea if there's any more left there that you didn't take three years ago? Okay, well, let, let me just put it this way. When we got that three years ago, when they say miracles happened, that, that was a miracle. <laughs> right. I mean, a complete miracle to, to be able to, uh, to, to actually be able to get that. Nobody even knew, uh, nobody even knew that there was any more that existed. And um, how it happened, you saw the, uh, earlier before my friend Simon, he, he's a member of the Chu family. The Chu family is the one that owned the uh, Hubei mine. They're the ones that owned the Hubei mine. They were the ones who developed it. So this was one of his uncles, one of the original miners, the original owners of the, of the Hubei mine. Well, nobody knew that, th that, his, that this even existed. Um, uh, Simon had gone up to the mine and uh, they, were, they were actually, they're doing this, um, uh, they're, they're doing a big museum they're, it's, they're spending like $15 million on this museum. And because of the, the fact that he was one of the co-founders and, and actually developed the mine and was such a, a you know, big part of it, right. they were gonna, they had him, invited him up um, and then they are gonna do like a bronze statue of him. I mean, it's, it's really a big, big deal, right? When he was up there, um, his uncle that uh, uh, was talking about, you know, his private stash and they literally went in and he had this like sealed off in this in this room, like in a kind of like a, a like a cave 
almost. <laughs> and, um, and, you know, he was saving it. He, you know, he, you know, now here's the thing, and I'll tell you, because on my mother's side of the family, that's where my mining genes come from. Right. Uh, all my mining uh, relatives are on my mother's side of the family. I guarantee you when they collect things and they bring things home, do you think that they bring bad stuff home or do you think they keep the best of the best? Right. 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 They keep the best of the best. Right. <laughs> and so that's what even made this so crazy. And, uh, you know, like even the best deal in the world was that we were able to get it at a price. As a Westerner, I never would have seen this and I never would have been able to buy it. Right. So it was just a miracle of being able to get it. But I just want everybody to know, look, if you don't have Hubei in your collection, you might really want to consider doing this. It's highly collectible. It will not be around forever. I'm, I'm down to kind of the last of the last of the material I have. In fact, the specimens that I have um, that I always show on air, mm -hmm. um, you know, these are these specimens right here that you're looking at right here. This. I collected these in the 70s. Wow. The, this, this, these are actually from the 70s when I was when I was buying this material and collecting this material. No kidding. So yeah, so wow. this actually comes from the 70s. Well, and, and, uh, and, and if you look at that and look at what the necklace is, it's identical. Yeah. Well, and, and again, this is such an exciting opportunity. If you just love turquoise, if you want a great um, antique turquoise piece, if you want something really substantial, I want to show you the small, like it would be impressive if it was just Hubei and it was a whole series of the smallest little beads down here. Okay, that's that's the backside. But look at how voluptuous the beads get when you get towards the front. They gradually just get larger and larger. So you can see that's a substantial amount. You know, think for Hubei and how rare it is, even if you did a strand of small ones like this, that would be an incredible value. But to get all of this, and again, it's on sale, and it's important to note the four flex pay is only for today. I don't think this is even gonna last the hour. I know when you had your last Hubei piece, which was your last visit, it. it sold out with Adam. He had one Hubei necklace and everybody just went bonkos for it. Quite frankly, I was excited and I didn't believe we actually had Hubei in the show. I was like, it's Hubei. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so thrilled because most of it's gone. Uh, there's only about 200 left now. So if you stay in the line, you're getting yours, but do not miss out. This is a, you don't understand how special this is. And the world of turquoise collecting, of jewelry collecting, of gemstone collecting, this is one of those true miracles. I love what, how you referred to it, Jay. It is like a mini jewelry miracle that Hubei is even available. Again, because it is so rare and this was mine in the 70s, or late 70s, early 80s. And here you're gonna be able to wear it today. Isn't that beautiful? All right, 287 are left. That's it. And then again, that will be sold out. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this piece because this is a customer pick and you guys love it, love it, love it. The reviews are amazing. By the way, read the reviews on the Hubei too. They are excellent. But before we get to this, I just wanna mention, this is called Tiger's and Hawk's Eye. It's a beaded stretch bracelet with a charm. Just wanna read two reviews. Shiny bold with beautiful variation of colors. In a league of its own was one of the five star reviews. And there is a beautiful strolling silver African tree on the bottom of that. This is on sale, it was $82.75. Tonight, $49.98. Just want to give you a quick look at it before it's gone and just want to show you what a nice sale price this is. And the reviews are great because it is, it's bold and it's fun and it's easy to wear. Okay, coming up next, a brand new mine find and it's all about rubies, the birthstone for July and one of the most precious stones in the world. Summer officially starts this Saturday, but we have what you need to enjoy every minute of it right now with Summer Essentials for your wardrobe, your home, and your beauty routine. Starts tonight at midnight on HSN and hsn.com. Ingredients that are rich in tradition, born from the clouds and foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Clean beauty that protects, nourishes, and repairs hair and skin. Shop the Tweaked by Nature Beauty Collection on hsn and hsn.com. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details.
by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? Okay, so for those of you watching last hour, uh, I had asked Jerry, she's my fabulous stylist, she's super talented, what my shoes are, because everybody's been talking about them, right? Okay, so if you missed the shoe, I'm just gonna show it to you again. It's so cute. But well, she didn't know right off the top of her head. So we figured out it's Andre Asos. And they're available online right now, right? Okay, so if you go to hsn.com, by the way, they're insanely comfortable. And there's like four styles, and this is the clear style. How cute are these? And they're wildly comfortable. So there you go. For those of you who watched last hour, I finally answered the question. I apologize for the delay, but Jerry ran to find the answer for us. Uh, for those of you watching new, hi, I'm Suzanne. Jay King's with me. He is our favorite rock hound who will go all around the world to find us its amazing gemstones. And speaking of finding us amazing gemstones, let's talk about one of the most important gemstones in the world of gemstones, and that is the ruby. You know, there are different levels of gemstones, and rubies, sapphires, emeralds, and diamonds are true truly the top of the royalty chain when it comes to gemstones. Now, envision an entire ruby necklace, all faceted, hundreds and hundreds of carats, and it's $169.98. This is indeed a brand new mine find. Just so you'll know, I have this really cool matching pendant. We have this great stretch bracelet all in ruby, and we have the matching earring. So I've got all the pieces available. As we go back to Jay here in St. Pete, just down the road actually, and Jay, uh, you told me earlier it was a new mine find, but I would not let you pre-tell me the story behind it. So I can't wait to hear how you found this. Okay, well, okay, number one, I, I you know, uh, I've only been able to bring Ruby a couple of times. So you, if you think about this, uh, in, uh, in the, doing the show for 25 years, yes. right? Right. Um, and then, you know, been, been in the business uh, for uh, four, oh, 44 years, um, it, um, uh, it's only uh, a, a few times I've actually been able to have Ruby, uh, have Ruby and be able to do it. What's so exciting about this, okay, it's what it's what I live for, right? And that is to find new, brand new mine finds in the world. And I have to tell you, okay, the coolest thing about this, this comes from Meridas, okay? Do you know where Meridas is? Mm -mm. Okay, I didn't either. <laughs> I have to tell you, and I have to tell you, here's the thing with Meridas, okay? Mer uh, look it up online, okay? okay. And, and so when they first brought this to me, they brought the rough material to a friend of mine brought the rough, he brought the, he brought the crystal material. Let me show you this. Uh, the, um, when, he, when he first brought this uh, 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 to me and I looked at the ruby, number one, uh, I just want everybody to real, realize this, okay? The difference between, um, uh, what makes ruby ruby is this, okay, is the color. It's all corundum. Right. So there's only four colors of red that the GIA accepts as ruby, right? So this is one of those four colors. It's very rare to get natural ruby, okay? This is a scream and scream and deal. This comes out of Meridas, though. And Meridas is a little island um, off the island of Madagascar. This oh. is like a... Okay, we're gonna show, you see, there's Africa. Oh, you oh see Madagascar? Goodness. Yeah. There's Meridas. Let me tell you something, okay? Uh, we were gonna go there in July. I was actually gonna film the mine, and I was, I was gonna film the miners, and we were gonna spend a couple of weeks there, um, you know, just kind of, you know, go between Madagascar and then go over to Meridas. This is like a hidden tropical paradise. I mean, it literally is paradise. It's, it's truly amazing. And you, nobody knows about it. I mean, you just absolutely nobody knows about Meridas. And to find this and find this one little mine, this one location, I actually have some photos of the mine uh, that I don't know if we could show you. This is literally, guys, this is all pick and shovel. There is no, there's no machinery whatsoever. This is all literally mined by hand. They mine the natural, uh, they mine the, the, the natural crystals uh, from the mine. And then uh, we were able to get that direct. And here's, okay, um, 
the, here's the cool thing about this. Most rubies that you see that are bought, they're, they're, they've done some kind of enhancement to it, right? It's either heat treated or they radiate it. There's something that's been done to, to the majority of, of, of rubies are enhanced. Right. These are all natural. You're we kidding. haven't done anything. This is just mother nature at her finest. If you look on Victoria, but I have to tell you, what's amazing about this, if you have it, look at, um, and this is stu your studio lighting. I, um, if, you, if you see it on our studio here, I think you can show it. It, it, it just sparkles. Oh, it's it glows. Gorgeous. It gleams. Look, yeah. look at it, it. It almost just talks to you. Look at look at the sparkle of that. Look at look at the natural beauty of that. It is just it just you know in in the different light sources as you have this on, yeah. uh, and you move around, it's just going to sparkle. It's going to shimmer. It's going to gleam. And I have to tell you though, real ruby like this, and especially to be able to buy it at this value is just totally unheard of. Oh, it's it's crazy. Well, and Jay, else I'm gonna, has I, this is my birthstone. Ruby, it's a July birthstone. It's my birthstone. And so I'm very, very familiar with rubies, right? And I can, if my husband bought this for me for my birthday, which is July 24th, and I opened the box and I saw an entire necklace of rubies, I would say, Craig, you should have never spent that kind of money. Like, seriously, I would look at him because I know how much rubies are. I would like, are you nuts? Why are you spending, you know, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars for rubies? So again, to your point, Jay, this is amazing that you're getting an entire necklace of genuine rubies, all hand faceted, which is fantastic, all done with a sterling silver extender on the back. You've got, what, two and three quarters of an inch to work with here. I mean, this is truly one, one of those moments that if, again, you love truly one one of the top creme de la creme of gemstones. They group diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds in the precious world. Those are the four most precious gemstones in the world. You're getting an entire ruby necklace. And that's what's really uh, surprised me, Jay, was that these are not enhanced. This is the real natural color of these rubies because there's a lot of rubies out there and they do a lot of things to them to make them prettier. You're getting the authentic, genuine ruby here. The only challenge is do you get it again before it's sold out? This is really a rare, rare treat. If you want to get the pendant, I, between the pendant and the earrings, I do not have a lot of those to go back to it. So if you are thinking about getting any of the accessory pieces, we're going to pop the information up on the left side of the screen. I think it takes a necklace that's beautiful and then adds a whole different dimension to it when you add that pendant to it. And the rubies on the earrings are massive. Those are solid pieces of ruby. And the necklace is literally hundreds and hundreds of carats of rubies. But Jay, you know, I can see how you're so tickled about this one. Because again, $169, it's supposed to be $199, we've got it on sale. It's brand new, it's a smart deal. It has four flex for today only, just like the last piece we saw. Um, only for today can you use that flex pay on it. Jay, this is such a treat uh, because it's spectacular. And I love rubies, and I know how expensive they, they are and how they are really imperial when it comes to the world of gemstones. They're right up there with diamonds and sapphires, too. It's, it's really amazing you were able to do this. Well, what's really truly amazing is about, you know, even the finding it and, and actually being able to find um, this, um, this particular ruby. And, and of all places, Meridas. <laughs> I mean, this little tiny island in the middle of nowhere. Do you know okay? how big the, the island middle, is? You, you know, the island, I think it's only like 30, 30 uh, square, it's only 30 miles in circumference. I oh mean, my gosh. That, you know, like Maritas, and you know, when they first told me Maritas and stuff, and I, and I started doing uh, research and I was going to try to find it. Now, you have to understand, this is a speck. It's not even a speck on planet Earth, right? In the middle of nowhere. And of all the things that you would find is they find they find a ruby mine. Ooh. Now you have to understand there's no industry, okay, in Meritas, right? right? I mean, this, I mean, it's, uh, you know, this is like fishing. It's just like, you know, like it's, it's, it's in the middle, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. But you can see here, it's all volcanic. Uh, it looks very beautiful. Lush, beautiful. Hardly it, anybody lives there. It's not a huge population or anything. It was at one time it was a French colony, huh. and um, so to be able to find this and to find this natural ruby was just amazing. To be able to negotiate a deal where we could get the rough material, it took us it took roughly about a year for us to get you know by the time that we found it to till we actually uh, you know were able to actually get to the, the ruby to the cutting shop where we could start designing with it. 
Um, what is so exciting about this, though, it's a natural ruby. It's very, very uh, rare that you can find this material. And I'm talking as far as a deal, this is like a incredible, crazy, crazy deal. Um, I don't even, even our, our low appraised value, I don't even know where you could go. Number one, you could, I don't know where you would go in the world to be able to even buy something like this of this quality for that price. Sure. Oh, this yeah. is just a screaming deal. And it's something that's new. It's, it's unique. It's fresh. Right. And, it, you know, and that's what's really cool is to have something that nobody else has. And, I, you know, other people might have rubies, but I guarantee you're the only one that will have a ruby necklace from Aritas. I don't know. If, I mean, how many people have have a, even have a full ruby necklace? I don't. And it's my birthstone. I've got little chips of rubies. I've got a little ruby ring. I've got some ruby earrings my husband brought home when he was uh, in the army in South America. Um, and But to buy an entire ruby necklace, like, that would be astronomical typically, you know? It would be very cost well, prohibitive. <laughs> and this is, a, this is 135 carats oh, of geez. natural ruby. 135 wow. carats. Okay, it's actually a little bit more than that. I'm going under, right? Right. But um, it, uh, we weighed them before I came on. I, you know, I, I took the average of three, and they, they weigh just a little bit over 135 carats oh uh, each necklace. That's massive, massive, massive. The, the cool thing about these, okay, is that, um, that number one, the material is very, very unique. This is very, very hard, but the whole thing is that they're natural. They're not treated. It's the natural color. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay, I missed you. Can you hear me? Oh, there we go, I'm sorry. Can you repeat what you said the last time? Yeah, th this is a, the natural ruby, and Victoria is showing it with, a, I guess she's showing it with the pendant there. We have, a, we have a photo, I don't know if they can show the photo, of, I, actually a photo of the mine. This, okay, I went, I, this is actually the mine in Meridas where this comes from, okay? Now, if you look at this, this is where, this is all pick and shovel. You, you don't see any equipment, do you, right? No. There's, no, there, there's no tractors, there's no nothing. They literally uh, do this with a pick and shovel. This goes oh in this, my gosh. It's, okay. And there, this is found in, in like a, a volcanic um, lava flow where like the ash is, and that's where they actually find the uh, ruby crystals. Uh, so they go in, they mine this, and then they take it and they, um, they kind of pan for it, they wash it like you would wash gold, you know, like in, in a pan. Right. And then they, this is what the crystals look like. This is what the natural crystals look like. Isn't that cool? So you're getting something that, that this is really, this is how it all starts right here. This is oh, how wow. Mother Nature, you see that? The ruby crystals, is yeah. that cool? Were they surprised, so that, that, were they surprised that that was ruby? Um, you know, on, on this, okay, when you go to Meridas, you don't think of a mining town. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> I think, I think, I think this was a, a big surprise. Nobody really even knew anything about it. Um, so and funny. then it's kind of funny how it all developed. Right. And like I said, right. this, this is what's cool. I mean, you're, you're getting something that's new, different. I guarantee you that nobody else has this material, right? Right. Um, <laughs> I, we, I don't know. They, they do have more material we're working, but you know, we were able to do these necklaces and um, I was just fortunate enough. We bought everything pretty much they had. Oh, right? I bet. And, oh, I bet. and then we, uh, we, you know, we didn't really grade it. We took it all. And then once we got it to the uh, the shop, we spent a lot of time, you know, grading it. So everything that you're seeing in the necklaces, and then especially in the earrings, uh, uh, the standalone cabochons, um, the, that was the okay. So the necklaces are the A grade material. But anything that we've cut for the pendant. The, the, the cuff bracelet that uh, we're going to be showing later, the earrings, all of that was the, uh, the double A and triple A material. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is like the die for Ruby. Oh, yeah. No, it's beautiful. And it, just think ahead a little bit. If you've got somebody who has a July birthday, wink, wink, husband Craig, if you're watching <laughs> per chance, which I know I he's not. You plug in your, I noticed you plugged your birthday. How I, shameless is that? Well, you get I mean, it. Like, totally. You know, how shameless oh, is oh, that, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. There, uh, Jay, ain't no shame in my jewelry game, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs>
<laughs> because I'm telling you, I, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> There's none. I am I am shameless when it comes to jewelry. But here's the scoop. If you have somebody who has their your birthday in July, get this them necklace. They will never believe it because typically what can we afford in rubies? Little teeny specks on a ring, which is what I have, or you get little whatever, little chips, little something. Can you imagine someone opens up on their birthday a ruby necklace? Like especially one that's this pretty. And you know, Jay, I love the fastening you guys did. Had you left it in just a normal kind of shape without a lot of fastening, it would still be pretty. But boy, I'll tell you, once you add that checkerboard fastening to each and every stone, it just adds such life to it and such elegance and it radiates. So if you've got that July birthday person, trust me, she'll lose her gourd if you get her a full necklace of rubies because we ain't never had anything like that before because it would be astronomical if you had to buy it. But of course, that's what Jay does. He doesn't have a big advertising campaign. He does not have any fashion models working for him with big name stars. He doesn't advertise anywhere. I mean, he literally goes around the world finding this stuff himself. And so we're able to bring you just these truly incredible uh, bargains. But I don't want you to miss out. Maybe you just like collecting the precious gemstones. Remember, there's precious, then there's semi-precious. Precious are, there's four of them. It's the diamond, the ruby, the sapphire, and the emerald. There's only four in the precious realm and that's all of them right there on top and then everything else comes below that this is one of those four top gemstones so if you're just a really avid gemstone collector your mouth probably dropped like my have and you're going oh my gosh a full necklace of ruby are you kidding me and jay i'm really impressed that you did not have to do anything to it you really could find a genuine ruby without having to enhance it that's a big big deal because that's how Highly unusual in this business. You know, in, you know um, what happens, and that's what was so uh, amazing about this is number one to find it, and then uh, to to find a, a brand new area. I mean, I never had put Maritas on my bucket list, right? <laughs> when they told me Maritas, I had no clue, and that's you know that's very unusual for me, right? I right. mean, normally, you know, I you know, but you know, when you look at it, it's it literally is like a little speck. It, um, if you've ever been to Bermuda. You know, you yeah. know, it's off the Carolina coast, right? Right. So, you know, it's the same, almost the same thing. It's almost the same distance from Madagascar, but it's literally a little volcanic island in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Mm -hmm. Who would ever think that you would have ruby, um, you know, a, a ruby mine there or something? And this is a brand new mine. This is this is something that was recently discovered. It, I think that they found it about three years ago is when they first actually f found the first rubies. Uh, we were the first ones to get in on it. Uh, I, to, to be honest with you, now a lot of people are going to know about it because obviously we showed about it and we showed Maritas, right? <laughs> so, so now we're now we're really going to keep it a secret, uh -oh. right? So, but, <laughs> oops. But <laughs> you know, it's, sometimes I'm my own worst enemy. I right, swear. Right. Exactly. So, so, but I'm just telling you how rare and unique this is. Okay, it's think beautiful. about this. You know. You, you have this deposit literally in the middle of nowhere. We're able to find it. We bring the rough. And also, I don't. I, I want people to understand the fact, the rarity of, of this. And this yeah. is a precious material. It's a precious stone. Right. So um, what I love about it, though, is that, you know, it kind of what we do, it's a niche business. So this is brand new uh, for us. Uh, we're, we're the only ones that, that have, have the uh, rough material to cut for TV right now. Nobody else that I'm aware of has got even got any of this material. We were able to bring this to you, and because we're bringing it to you directly, right? I mean, how much more direct can you get? I, I mean, right. uh, think about this. This is like when you're, you know, that that steak you grilled this weekend, right? If you were, you know, if you were in the grilling mood and, and uh, you were able to, you know, to grill some steaks, um, this would be like actually buying buying it right directly from the rancher, right? right. I mean, so <laughs> right. You're, getting, you're getting it right from source on this, and we don't mark it anywhere else. Right. All of these mine finds, you know, we do, do the designs, and we the only place that we sell this is right here on the uh, uh, HSN on the yeah. mine. Yeah. Okay, so there's no Jay, other place to get So, Jay, here's what I've got to do. I'm going to talk about the accessory pieces real quick. Give everybody a reminder of the Hubei piece, which is almost sold out. So here we go. If you want the accessory pieces, I love this bracelet. Maybe, and again, think value when you see us go through the prices on this, okay? So here's the bracelet. It's total stretch, so you don't have to worry about sizing. Uh, he uses only the best, so it's gonna, you know, that wire is gonna stay beautiful and last for years and years. Now, this bracelet is $109.98. 
okay? But can we widen out to the necklace again? Think about how many more carrots you have in the necklace at 169, right? So remember, this is on sale for today only. It's our smart deal, it's brand new, and we have four flex pays. So I think if you, this is a great price on this bracelet, right? It's appraised at $185, but that just gives you an idea of how awesome the price is on the necklace. So, you know, I just want to kind of give you a perspective there. But maybe the bracelet's your thing and you're cool with it. And I love the sterling silver spacers that are in there as well, all faceted and it's stretch. So we've got a couple of these available, not a whole lot in the entire collection, but it's easy. This one, you don't have to worry about sizing. If you're gonna get, again, July birthday, coming up just saying if you're going to give it to somebody you don't have to worry about their wrist size necessarily because it's going to fit basically everybody it's easy to take it on take it off but i do think this is a great example that really emphasizes the value of the necklace itself because obviously there's a whole lot more or, or excuse me ruby on the necklace and quite frankly a bit more sterling silver on the necklace than there is in the bracelet so i just kind of want to point that out because sometimes i think we get a little bit jaded when we do this job simply because we're like, oh, the pricing's always so great. I think that really gives you a perspective of how awesome the smart deal truly is. Now that's the bracelet. Okay, I wanna talk about the earrings. I love these earrings. I think it's a combination of a ruby, which is a very traditional stone, but make it very, very modern. Very comfortable to wear, oh my goodness. And huge, huge carat weight on each of these all sterling silver down below. I have 600 available. Obviously they're for pierced ears, so that's the earring to go back to it. And these are on three flex pays. The only reason I would suggest if you you get the earrings is if you bought the necklace, it'll be very, very hard to find matching earrings. So if you like that look of matching together, then you wanna get the earrings now before they're sold out. Because again, this is a very distinct ruby. You know, you can tell it's not a ruby that necessarily you've seen before in a more traditional traditional sense. So again, it'd be very hard after these sell out to go back and say, oh, you know, I really should have gotten the earring. So those are available. Then we also have the pendant, which is mimics the look of the earring. And Jay, I love on this pendant, we're gonna spend two minutes on it, Jay. Five beautiful faceted stones that just turned out awesome. Really a pretty piece. Well, if you look at this too, and, and this is kind of, you know, this is our forte, this is what we do. Yeah. Um, number one, we handcraft everything from scratch. Um, all this pendant, this is all created from sterling silver sheet material. So even the raw materials that we work with in our silver, they're even custom made. So you have, even, even the raw materials are custom made for our projects. And the thing that sets us apart is that um, we actually have silversmiths. The only way to do these, all of, all of these, just so you know, are individually handcrafted from scratch from sterling silver sheet material, which is custom made for us in sheets. We give it to our silversmiths. All of the bezels on this, everything, all of these rubies, this is, this is how custom this is. Okay, think about this. So we took the natural ruby rough material. We, and we, the first thing we do is we, everything is graded by size. Then everything is graded by color. And then it's graded by grade. When you look at the ruby materials that are in the pendants, the, in the earrings, that is the top, top, top grade material. So that's the AAA, AA material that, that we had available uh, from the load. And then you've got the A grade and some of the high B in the necklace. That's how you can, you can uh, be able to cut the faceted Bs, right. uh, beads for, for that particular necklace. But when you're, looking at the, when you're looking at the material that's actually in the pendant, uh, we've got a, a lovely bracelet coming up later on this afternoon uh, in the same ruby if, you're, if you want to collect this set. Now, here's the thing with this material. This isn't something, like I said, it took us a year from the, the time that we actually made the deal on the rough material and selected the rough material. It took us a year for us to get it from Meritas. It's not like you call up any number <laughs> the companies that you normally call up. Yeah. And, you know, we've all gotten so spoiled, especially lately. Um, right. I won't mention a bunch of trucks. There are a lot of trucks that pull up to my house, right? <laughs> right. My, and you know, you know Sheila, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My, 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 my wife's a professional shopper, right? <laughs> but, I mean, I get, I've, I've gotten more people drive up my driveway lately, you know, and drop <laughs> off packages. Right. And so... This isn't that kind of deal, okay? Right, yes. That's... You had to put this, now think about this, you know, we had to get the material, it had to go on a boat 
to Madagascar. Okay, so it went on a boat to Madagascar, right. and then it went on a plane uh, to the cutting shop, right? And we sorted it in Madagascar, and then it went from there, then it went on, a, on an aircraft. Otherwise, it would have taken us probably about a little over a year and a half just to just to actually get the container. Plus, you know, we didn't, there wasn't enough material that you could buy a material, uh, you know, get a, a container load, Work. right? Yeah. I mean, Right. It's not like you pull up and you just say, fill up the back of the truck with ruby crystals, please, right? right? From it, this it obscure little like island. Okay, so right. Jay, we got, we got to wrap up on this one, honey, Benny. Uh, there are the earrings, okay. we have the pendant, we have the necklace, we have the bracelets. If you go online and you want to see the other accessory pieces, you can certainly see them. I think they'll all be grouped together on hsn.com. All right, Jay, I want to give everybody a real quick update on the Hubei. We have 190 left. This is one of the rare, the rare, the rare. It literally was mined in the late 70s, early 80s, so it's considered antique turquoise jay was able because again his incredible worldwide connections to come upon some of this three years ago and it's kind of the last of the last and every time we've shown anything with hubei it sells out so and this is a substantial piece because it is antique turquoise it is highly sought after it's highly highly collectible i was thrilled to even have a couple in the show but again we're down to the final quantity on it just want to give you a quick look and notice the sale price this is 200 normally and we've custom Customer pick with five star reviews all over the place. We appraised it at 275, which I think is conservative for Hubei, but tonight it's 159.98. Again, four flex pays for today only. So you definitely, if you want to use that option, you've got to take advantage of it before the day's over, or of course before it's sold out. And chances are of it being available later today are pretty. Uh, pretty pretty slim quite frankly. All right, so we're gonna move off the ruby and now we're gonna talk about this This is a great little piece. Um, in fact, it's not little at all. It's actually a big chunky piece I love the customer reviews on this one. I'm gonna read two of them once again Shiny bold with beautiful variation of colors the second review. I especially adored it said in a league of its own and that was at $82.75 People were going online and commenting and giving it five stars. Tonight, we're at $49.98. I can't imagine we have a lot left from that little sneak preview. But this is Tiger and Hawkeye great big beads. And I adore the little sterling silver tree because it's a small sterling charm with an African tree design on it. And if you go in, can we go any closer, guys? Because it's amazing how detailed that charm is. If you really can look at it very, very close, how insane is that charm? And look at all the details just in the charm alone. And then of course you can see these immense, immense, beautiful, luscious beads. So Jake, can you tell us a little bit about Tiger and Hawkeye? Okay, well, this comes from, this is, uh, comes from Namibia. And Tiger's Eye, uh, it comes in basically three colors. So you've got the gold, you've got the red and the blue. Those are predominant. About uh, 10 years ago, we added blonde to that. Your favorite color, Suzanne, and <laughs> Sheila's also. <laughs> but we won't go there, will we? Okay, so. Because what makes it's this natural blonde, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I knew you were gonna have to add something to the comment, but. Um, so you've got, you've got four real colors, but three colors that are yeah. predominant. So you've got the, the gold, which There's is the, the most, most predominant, right. right? The gold. Right. You've got the red. And then you've got the blue. So you get all three colors of the tiger side. And then the hawk, hawk side is what they're calling the, um, the red material. So, you know, um, what, what is amazing about this is these are all natural, okay, as far as uh, the, it's got a, a, what they call a natural chatoyancy to it. So that's Mother Nature's way of creating bling, okay? <laughs> so uh, it actually has... It, Mother, Mother Nature's uh, bling of chatoyancy. And that's why you get, you know, that's why they call it tiger's eye. They also call it cat's eye effect, right? Yeah. To, where, where it like glows and, and, and gleams. This comes out of Namibia, is where the material comes out of. We had a matching necklace uh, to this and um, it just absolutely blew out. Um, they have been requesting that we uh, do it again. And I, I have to tell you, I. Just it so far we we just haven't been able to do it. So this, these are if you were able lucky enough to get in on that necklace and you didn't really um, at that time uh, uh, maybe uh, didn't get in on the bracelet. The, we're down to the last few of the last few that we have on this. And then that little tr uh, tree you see that charm that's the tree of life I is what that. they call I that. Love, yeah. So isn't that cool? It's just a nice little accent. 
And then also you see this on Victoria, you can see, and um, she's, um, you know, a very, she's a petite woman. But um, if you see this, these aren't little teeny beads, okay? These, oh yeah, these they're, they're wombums. I mean, they're, they're really, really nice. And what's amazing, this, the quality of the material, it just, it, um, it just effervesces. Yes. I mean, it, it's just like you, like you said, you get uh, so many people. The, the main thing is, is when you actually get this home and you open the package, that's when you really actually get to see what you really have, right? right? Right. And I guarantee you, if you think it looks cool here, wait till you get it home and open that that package. I guarantee you. Uh, well, if, when you when you open that package, if you're not doubly impressed, then give me a call. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know because I'm telling you, I see it here on air, and I actually I got great. to hold it in my hand and yeah. actually see it, yeah. and it is very impressive. The, the finish on it is just incredible. The colors are spectacular. Well, it's got and a also, satin finish again, to it. It's got it. all the different colors. Well, and it's got the neatest satin finish. Like it almost is almost like worry beads. It's fun to just sort of hold it and roll it. But what makes it even better is the size. These are 14 millimeter beads. They're extremely large. And yet it's very, very comfortable to wear. I mean, you're wearing a bracelet, that's for sure. The other neat thing about the color palette for me is, you know, if you wear a lot of denim, which I love denim, denim and brown is actually my two favorite color combinations. In fact, let me put them together. There's a little bit of a darker denim, but I love that. Look at it pick up that blue. Isn't that cool when you put denim behind it? But also as we move into the fall in a couple of months or so, you know, then you talk to all those great fall tones when you think about the trees and all the beautiful, you know, colors that you see in the fall. Just imagine what your outfit will look like when you're wearing it with that. So, you know, if you wear it with khakis and whites, it's just a great great showpiece during the summertime, but I think it really is amazing how it can blend into the fall tones just beautifully. The challenge is, do you get it before it's sold out? Here's why. It's on sale. It's never been this price until tonight. We have three flex pays on top of that, so you can get this home for a little over $16, and it's $49.98 versus $82.75, so that's a really nice savings, and if, I, if you can, if you're sort of on the fence on it, Please read the reviews. They're really exceptional. In fact, there's great ones and several of those that are five stars. All right, I want to do a quick reminder of our Ruby before we move on to our last item in the show. Okay, here's the scoop. We got a couple different pieces. We have the bracelets, uh, we have the pendant, we have the earrings, and... The necklace, which is the key. Uh, there are 500 necklaces now gone in just the show. That is a third of our quantity that we brought in for the entire day. It is very much like a today's special, very unique. It's a brand new mind find tonight. That's all rubies, enough said there. No color enhancement, that's the genuine look. They've just gone back and faceted these and polished them up a little bit. Four flex pays for today only. A smart deal is a limited time on the pricing, and that is a genuine full ruby necklace. You do get the extender on the back, so it starts at 18, and it goes to another two and three quarters of an inch. Just want to give you a quick reminder of that. All right, one more items before we say goodbye to Jay for now, and this is interesting. I like the name of this. This is called the Sea Flower Stone Pendant Necklace, and we also have the matching earrings. So what's the scoop? It is on sale. It is the last time we've seen this was in February, and tonight is the best time to buy it because it is now the lowest price we've ever offered this for. In January, it was $194. Tonight, we're $154. The earrings, I have $200 available. The necklace, I only have 180 and then it's going to be bye-bye. So where in the world did you find sea flower, Jay? Okay, this comes um, out of Madagascar. Oh. And, um, you know, Madagascar is uh, becoming, it, it's really amazing. Um, uh, people, you know, number one, when you think about Madagascar, what do you think about, right? Penguins, right? <laughs> Right. Because when you say Madagascar, everybody always, it, it's amazing that a cartoon is actually what brought Madagascar to light, right? <laughs> That's true. I guarantee you, there are no penguins in Madagascar. <laughs> now, the, Madagascar is very, Madagascar is very uh, interesting, and the reason I'm telling you this, it's the same with this material, right? This is what Madagascar is all about. Madagascar, uh, most of the plant life, most of uh, the, the birds, uh, the reptiles, that are on Madagascar, for the most part, the majority of them are exclusive to Madagascar. Hmm. It is an amazing, and they, um, amazing, amazing island. At one time, most people, they, um, at one time was, it was ruled by American pirates, okay? No kidding. So, 
It's a, I, it's a really unique, it's, I mean, the history of Madagascar, I could go on and on. It's really an incredible, incredible place. They started mining, they started discovering things about, oh, a little over, probably now going on 15 years ago is when they really started finding things. Um, and we made, we've made some good connections there. We've got a lot of good mining friends. And um, because they know now that they've learned kind of what, what we do and how we are, and we do a lot of our appetites out of there. We're getting a, a there. It's just amazing what they're discovering every year. They're discovering more and more um, uh, semi-precious, precious stones. It's just incredible. Wait, Jay, do I have a question for you. Have, Jay, do you think it's this, unique that the Ruby Island is close to Madagascar and you're finding all these crazy stones over there? Okay. There is a reason behind that, and if I had an hour, which they're not going to let me talk about it, right? Uh, but you, if you do the research, you find there's a gem belt that runs Madagascar's no right on the coast, and that's where you know they're, they're literally uh, you've got all this volcanic uh, activity, right? That right. developed uh, those islands and developed Madagascar. And so that's where you're getting these precious and semi-precious materials from. That's cool. Then you find things like this. This is called sea flower. Okay, I double dare you go to any of your jewelry people, right? You go anywhere, you go uh, high, low, whatever, right. and walk in and ask them if you can see their sea flower uh, <laughs> collection, okay? They're going to be like... And, yeah, well, they'll probably ask you if you've been drinking, okay? <laughs> right, but, right. I, I, I'm Which not really sure. Which chances are I have been, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is, okay, this is something, if, if you're the kind of person, and that's what Mind Finds is about, where you, you're getting things that are unique, things that are different, things that you never have never heard of before that you've never seen before. Right. And that's what we kind of bring to the market. Well, and Jay, can I, I explain well, something too? Jay, sorry. I just, I just thought it was so unique and so different. Well, I just want to explain something really quick. In this one, you get the pendant. Remember I was talking about the ruby that we sold the pendant separately? This is a big deal, because this pendant, look, this pendant, if it was a bracelet, look how big that bracelet would be. Just the pendant, it's huge. That's a huge cabochon, a gemstone. So it's important to understand you're getting it with this as opposed to you don't have to buy it separately that adds to that great sale price what i love about it too is you can take this off and if you have a sterling silver collar from jay or you've got a sterling silver necklace what makes this even more impactful is you wear this at one length and you put the pendant on a silver chain right here to wear two different pieces so or you wear this one by itself because if i wore this one by itself look how much that fills my v-neck it's really a extremely large pendant. Plus, I love the fact, Jay, you did these really kind of almost tubular beads in a way. They're like soft uh, squares or rectangles, like cubes, if you think about it, soft cubes. So both pieces, that's incredible. And again, $154.95. Now, I will recommend, if you're fascinated by this and you're picking it up, get the earrings. Because the odds of you ever, ever here on HSN <laughs> finding earrings to match this will be pretty slim. Wouldn't you say, Jay, because again, this is a, I've never seen you do this before. Um, and I would suspect that we probably won't see it for a while, right? I mean, I don't know, but what do you think? Oh. Well, here's the deal, okay? Um, it's not like they mine sea flower 24 seven, right? Right, right. <laughs> this is a real small surface deposit. And we were actually, uh, this was brought to us, they actually found this uh, when they were mining for appetite. Oh, and so that's when they found this material. Now, that doesn't mean that, that, that there's this huge deposit of this, right? These are the things that we, where they're just, you know, you get a few barrels of it. And that's what we've done. Uh, that's, we, we got what, what was there. And uh, we've cut these designs and then that's it. You won't ever see this again, probably ever in your life. And uh, what I love about it though, Okay, we're showing you here, Victoria. If we showed you um, every one of these pieces are truly one of a kind designs, okay? There's no two of these that are gonna be identical because um, they're all cut from the natural material. So there, uh, there's every one that we sell, send you, every, your piece is gonna be just your piece. It's, they're really truly one of a kind designs. There's no way to, you can get where they all match. So if you like to collect things that are really unique, very different. This is something you might want to think about. All right, Jay, at that point, I've got to say goodbye to you. Thank you for a great hour. Thank you so much. And, and we, um, yeah, I, I shall, I'll see you, I believe, Saturday or Sunday. Yes, we. but you'll be on later today, correct? Uh, or are you done? Today, no.
Is it today? I, I think. No, we'll be back it? together. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, Jay, thanks for joining me. You can't get enough of <laughs> Just watch 24 okay. 7 between now and Saturday. Jay and I will be together again, I promise. Thank you for hanging out with me. Have a great night.